Welcome to Gautam Brothers Real Schoolers. Today, we have somebody who is very special to us and we are going to do something different. We are going to see what's inside a scanner. And our special person is my father. And, and his father. And, and, and our father. And ah. he holds the scanner. Daddy, who is about to keep? Now, Daddy, you say something. What should I say? So, let me ask you this. Do you know what is scanner? Yes. Okay. You are opening it. Put something here. It scans it. If you want to do some card type scanning, open this little door here and you have a card type scanning. I don't think they can see the card type scanning part. Okay. Yeah, because it's quite big. So, how does a scanner work? That I don't know. We'll have to check I have it no out. idea. Okay. Let's shift it a little here. This is the part. You can okay. move it up wait, and wait, wait, scan wait. Let's, let's do one thing. Let's do oh, one thing. that slides right out. Makes yes. it a lot easier for us. Wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. Are these going to be dismantled? So what do you want to do? I think first let's take apart the top. If there is anything. So are you planning to take it off? We're taking this whole I scanner. thought you wanted to know about scanner. We're taking this whole scanner apart and showing it. But why? Because we want to know what's in it. No, you can see. It's a glass. Just look inside and you'll be able but to see. But there's a lot more. Lot more. And plus, why does it have a light instead of some kind of invisible light? Wait, where is light? I don't see a light. Oops. Yes, you're right. Okay. So, look. but my question. Why are we going to break it apart? We're not going to break it. We're going to dismantle it. Okay, but why? So that we can see what's inside. Okay. But why do you want to spoil my perfect scanner? It was there are, right. Because there are no drivers available for it. Oh, well, and it's not you're perfect. You are supposed to tell that to everyone. And plus, by the way, it's very outdated. It's outdated. Okay. Yeah. Modern printers can also have scanners. Yes, that is true. This it is, doesn't have this. a driver that it will communicate with. Hmm. Okay, so this let's uh, before we do that, let me tell you. Wait, wait, wait. So this is used for scanning negatives. Okay. Negative. Negatives is something probably you would not have seen. Uh, so probably I'll show you. I'll try and find out if I have negatives somewhere. But uh, there used to be a concept of negatives when we used to take before digital cameras. Yeah. There used to be uh, film-based cameras. Yeah. They and were like they were. And in film based cameras, we could scan the negative by putting it here and turning on the scanner. So this used to be for that. What are you in scanners at that time? Yes. That, I bet this scanner is from that thing. Okay. No. So no. Let's, keep it, let's keep it on one side. What should Which, we take apart first? The top or the bottom? Uh, there's nothing to take apart on the top. Oh. There's no way. Okay. So let's, let's see if there are any screws. Ooh. Nice little screws for us to deal with. Okay. Two days plus. Yeah. So why don't you... You take these. Each one gets... Okay. Thank you. Lucky this me. one is a little small. Yeah. Careful. This is a glass. Oh. It's very simple. It's not, not that simple. Look over so here. So there's a glass. That's it's a transparent glass. Look okay, here. So let's keep it here. There's a bunch of stuff here. What does it do if it doesn't More screws. Oh, wait, wait, careful. Wait, what's this? It's a conveyor belt. Wait. Yeah. Can you please wait? Something. See, if you want it to be turned on, yeah. you have to be away from it because you could get electrical shock. And so, also these lights are very bright. Yes. We saw in the first part of the video. Okay. Oh, it's like as bright as the light we're using here. Okay, so let's take it apart. Oh, we know for sure that we are not getting AC voltage, so this is DC voltage. How many volts are we getting? Do we know? I'm sure there must be somewhere out here. Does it because... pass it there? I have this what for this? You... This is a belt. There are capacitors here. Wait, 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 let's see. So this is this one. They're locked. Keep, 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 keep it out. Is this locked? How do you know it's locked? Because it's not coming apart. No, don't do that. Don't do that, please. Kind of don't use your screwdriver everywhere. How 
about we take out these nice little screws? They're perfect. No, no, let's wait for a moment. Let's this. see how this is working. So what's causing? Okay, this entire thing is moving. So let's take it off. This can wear, but I it might I'm No, it. this might be attached to one place. Okay. So when this moves, that part will go back, but this will come forward and that will push this, whatever this strip is. Hmm. So this is uh, <coughs> basically driven by a motor. Yes. So you want to see what's inside this first. Okay. Let's get a screwdriver and quickly try this. Oh, this whole thing comes out. Ah, this is interesting. And oh, be careful because you don't want to tear apart anything. In this case. is like the pivot point. It yes. is a pivot point. We just want to be careful that we don't want to break anything. Yeah, because we're dismantling it, not destroying it. Yes. So this, keep your tools away while you're this touching. This can come up. Get taken off. Be taken off. Yeah. HP logo. That's the HP logo. I guess All that Anna deserve HP. It's stuck. No, this is glued. We can't take it out. Possible. We can break the glue. Wait a sec. I think there must be a way to take this apart. I don't know. How about we try trying off this cover and we might find a hidden route. Uh, that entire thing comes off. Oh, there's a light. Okay, wait a sec. Wait, 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 wait. Careful, careful, careful. There are a lot of mirrors. Yes. Tiny mirrors. Tiny and slim. And very working. Can they see? Well, we can see them and they will too. Wait, Look, a, wait, wait for a They're very better. clean also. I don't think they've seen the light of day for quite a while. Hmm. Wires. So this wire, it apparently, this is the tube. Mm, I think the guys of it, they really don't want us to know the secret how a scan, their scanner works. Okay, so we've made a discovery. There is some tape here. See? It just came right off. Um, it was glued with a two-sided tape, I guess. See? That's sticky. So it took off we are here. I took my hand. <laughs> you can stick your hand to the... Let's see if we can get this out. Yes. Yay! Careful, careful. This is glass. This is light, so it has to be glass. Careful, do not touch Rather it. Rather light Boys. glass. Maybe it's very light glass, right? Something light. Uh, something tells me this. There has something to do with electricity in here. That, yes. That electricity, isn't there some electronic charge, runners, some sort of thing that... I don't know what kind of tube it is, but it has two wires running through. And I'm finding it difficult to get rid of these wires right now. Can we just cut it? I don't want to cut anything. Have a zero. <laughs> That's the easiest way out, right? Yeah. But wait, 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 wait. careful. Always... You could break the... This rod is metal or plastic. I think it's metal. It's metal. That's for sure. Just touching it, you can tell Let's it's metal. I'm just but it just feels different from glass. Uh, I got it out on one side. Great! But Wait, you mean they're... Oh, they're wires! Yes. So it can be peeled all the way out. So we've got a tiny, like... Ah, yes. finally. But After so much... Sponge of mirrors. Okay. okay. But maybe it's something just to do with reflection. What are the mirrors for? I think I know. You see the light will let's, come let's, let's from here. Wait. Let's oh, keep okay. your, keep your hands away. Let's see what happens now. Uh, care, be careful with your eyes because and don't look at the light. I'll just cover my eyes. Okay. Is it UV? No, I don't think that's UV. It's not UV. Otherwise, we can't see it. It's just it's not that bright. It's not that bright. Close up, Daddy. Yes, it's not that bright. I agree. So it must be. This is LED. This. So it's, LED tube. so it's not harmfully bright. Yeah. So what I think happens is, if you look at it, okay, the there are two will slots. The light from here. No, 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 no. There are two slots. So the tube was out here in this white section. Yeah. So light flashes from here. It goes up through the glass. 
the transparent glass. It's bounced back from the Then image. there is an image on top of it. That will And there is a white white thing in the back. Yes, so it bounces back. And then it goes, goes through, through this. this and then it bounces from uh, this mirror. No, the mirror in the bottom. Yeah, it bounces from the mirror in the bottom. Yes. Till this mirror into this Tube. Yes. But and then I'm sure there must be some kind of optical yes, there's sensor. Some, there's something in the tube I can see. Okay. Should we so take the, it off? So these are basically mirrors. If you look at it, these are uh, Just sort mirrors. of yeah. No, no, no. What I'm trying to say is, can you see? They're sort of glued together or something. Some glue has been kept so that they don't move from their position. Yes. Oh. So there are three mirrors in there. If you see very closely, then there are three mirrors in there. Hmm. And so, there's some kind of thing inside this tube. So it goes in, bounces from this mirror to this mirror, then here. Later. Okay. I think we should unscrew this tube. See? Okay. Screws there. Careful. We have to be extra careful. Yes, because it's glass here. Not this one. I'm sure it was not... Oh, it comes straight out. Lens. It's a lens. It's a lens. Let me see what happens when I see through it. Uh, I don't see anything. It, I only see a faded version of you. But if, what if I do like this? Okay. So, this is the lens. Which, which is you getting, you know. Can I see what happens? Sure. From this side, I just get you blurred. From the other side, I get you magnified and blurred. <laughs> it must be... To do with the optical sensors. Our eyes are not the same as the optical sensors in here. So we know uh, there, there are sensors. We understand. Uh, it goes through but there's, there's a blockade here. So what happens to that light of bounce? That mm, light good that question. Bounce? How about we lift this? It is not coming out. We have to be very careful because I think there, you know, it is the... Can I try to see underneath? Even Wait, let me let me think what can be done. Let me think what can be done because we are not I'm not able to take it out. Okay. okay so, so let me rip it apart. Wait oh, a sec. You said you didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that, but I don't see there's any other option left. We now. have to break this. Okay. No, no breaking, please. I there's no way to do Okay, so it. once we've okay. got this out, we'll see you again after we've got this stripe out. Okay? Strip. This is called wire strip. This is wire strip. Can you see? Can you count oh. the number of wires that are there? I don't know. I bet more than a dozen. Yes, there are more than a dozen for sure. Maybe more than two dozen. No, I don't think so. There's still a problem. This metal. Wait, wait, wait. wait draws yes. like acting like a pivot point. No, I think uh, we'll have to see. It must be locked somewhere here underneath this. So we'll have to see. Yes, it's glued. You can see glue. Yes. Ah, I see a few more beautiful nuts here. So let's see if we can do anything with this one here. That can be taken apart. No, one. I think we need to first see. Wait, 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 please. They, don't this rush. This is attached with glue. Please don't rush. If it was glue, then it couldn't pivot. This, this is like a chain. No, but my question is, if someone more has to repair it, how can this be repaired? You, maybe they don't allow, maybe they are engineers no and we don't know any HP engineers. Do you? No. Mm, no. I just want to see. Certainly not ones who worked in the 90s or 2000s. Yeah. So I got this out. Good. That's great. Okay. Just great. So this is, ah, I got the entire thing out. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Yes. So, I think we have this assembly out! Yes! Hey, look at this! Oh, careful, careful, it's quite, careful, there's sir. A, there's a tension spring in there. And look what's underneath this. Ah, there's a lot of electronics. We'll come back to that part later, okay? First, let's see what else is in here. Oh, and so, see I'm taking what, up this rod. And see what does the lens oh, do? This is really heavy. Is Metal is heavy. I bet this is steel or something. Yeah. This thing goes aside. No, why? Because we need to look at that. Why I not think this? we should look at this first. Okay, so what I understand is, look at this, they have a mechanism. But where was it locked? I have no clue. Look at this tension. Yeah, 
tension. I think that was creating the prevention. <laughs> tension prevention. Okay. Rhyming. <laughs> Rhyming. So this is motor. Okay. Let's do one thing. Okay. Let's see what happens now. Do not touch the anything. The chain will move just slightly because of that. Let's see what happens. Okay. I'll turn on the power in. Three, yes. two, one. The chain moves. The chain is continuing to move. The motor is not stopping. Ah, yeah, it's not. Oh, so there must be. Careful away from electronics. There must be something like. If, oh, it gets stuck there. So, why is the chain not stopping? Because, because it is not getting the signal from the brain. No, yeah, the top section, this section is. It not is the brain. Yes. The signal is received from this receiver. Point. Oh, keep your hands away from electronics, the power please. Is off. You never know; there must be some residual charge out there. Because of all these little capacitors. Unfortunately, we have no way to reverse the polarity, so that guy is stuck. Yeah, so what do we do? We can't exactly force a motor. Mm -hmm. Not exactly in this configuration. Look, so many more nuts. Screws. This thing so is just waiting do to be think, Do you think we can assemble it back? Is it possible to assemble it yes, back? Yes, we can attach that back into this. It's not too many pieces, so I think yes. But I think first we should dig a little deeper. But I have a question. What? How will this connect with this now? No, no, not that one. I'm not worried about that part, the cable. I'm worried about connecting this cable out here. This is going to be tough. Oh, yeah. But you can see there are grooves, built-in yes, grooves, perfect uh, size. Can you see grooves? These uh, grooves. And uh, can you also see... This is... <coughs> the... Motor? No, 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 no. The cable here I have a way of has showing grooves. Them. I have a way of showing them. Can you put it down? I can show them that it has Z. So if I run a nut along it, you see But my your hand, hand will block the view for the... Can no, no you can see that the train vibrates slightly. No, so let's do it. If you want to show, we can use this. See, what we can do is we can tilt the chain a little bit and we can show that it's jumping. So, we have this board which works as a power assembly. Power, not power assembly, but yes, this is the main board. It has the input. Okay, so these power are. Power input. Okay, so this is power input. And there and are a lot of capacitors here. Yeah, so capacitors are there hey, for a lot of purposes. Look, there are three chips. One, two, three. And what about this one? Is it not a chip? Is this not a chip? No, that's not a, probably not a chip. But this, this. This, this, four. Yeah, four. Oh. Let's just see what's inside underneath, what kind of motor it this? is. Probably that's the last thing that's left to see. No, no, there are more screws here. And there's something that else left to see. We don't still don't know what happens to the light that comes in through the lens. Oh, in this one? Yeah. Oh, we'll see that if that's possible. Yes, and so careful. Careful, 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 careful. We need to be extra careful. Oh, I'll put them in here. That's in, in second compartment. Not good enough. I think it can take on these smaller ones. Careful. Yeah, yeah. Not that one, please. That one doesn't. We know we need to only take off. Please. Is this a thin DC motor? Because I like them and I need one. Uh, need to be extra careful. Yeah. This especially because you might break the wires. Ah, look at these nice little gears. So the motor, I bet it's rotating rather fast. So they've used that to slow it down to a pace. Yeah. It was, you know, this is a very nice chain. Conveyor? Yeah, no. it's a very nice chain. It has something written it's on it. It's a belt. Yeah, it's a very nice belt. Point. It's the... geared, groove belt. Yeah. Something like that. If we get rid of this, then I can use it in one of my projects. It's some pin. 
Okay, we'll, we'll look after that later. But what about this DC motor? How is it? But see, I think they, they have uh, four cables going in. Uh, we don't know which motor this is. So let's, let's leave it at that right now because this is a very nice but tiny motor. Can you, can you guys see uh, how thin this motor is? It is quite thin. It is really thin, you know, thin as compared to the other motors that I have seen, the hobby motors. Uh, look at this. It's, it's, uh, mm -hmm. Do you have a scale or something we can measure? Yes, I have. Rough estimate. Yeah. Four, four lines. So that's eight four. millimeters. So only eight millimeter wide. For comparison, the average DC motor. Do you have an average DC motor, uh, hobby motor that you have? Yeah, I hobby motor, yes. But the average DC motor which is used inside of that hobby motor yeah. may be thinner in both directions but it's like, uh, what was that? 25 mm deep. Deep depth. Yeah, it's 25 millimeters. And yeah. Okay, so now we're done with this. Can, you, can I just put it back? How can uh, we? Yeah, just close. We'll put it back later after the video, I think. Okay, uh, I don't know. For now, we have to take this apart. So I'll just keep it on one side. Yeah, with all the <coughs> other segments. So should we move so this? So this is the scanning section, okay? The, the portion that we the scanning. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What's that thin yellow thing there? It's a battery or a capacitor type thing? What, wait, wait, wait. This, I think I see something written behind this. This is a transformer, sort of a transformer. And this is thing, it's covered with glue. Which Maybe one? The blue one. This, this, this is one. a capacitor, ceramic, yeah. ceramic capacitor. Cer ceramic capacitors? Yes, so they have glued everything. Um, um, so we are going to take the, apart, uh, take it out, take out this plate now. And we are try to see what's inside. Maybe there's some locks on the side type. Uh, I see some small fasteners, but... Uh. Okay, so let me take it out. Wait, I have a question. If they inserted screws, why did they use screws? Why did they use glue to screw the... To uh, the I think the reason probably is that they want to ensure that no one has serviced it or moved out because these are uh, probably the items which needs to be uh, aligned because if you misalign them and I bet there is a sensor behind this so it will yeah. take half of the photo and not take the other yes, half the scanning could be misaligned uh, what you are scanning could be different from uh, what's actually turning out to be on a computer or something like that yeah. so let's see if I can take this apart oh yeah that comes off quite easily now that we've uh, and this is a sensor it's a tiny very thin sensor i don't know what this sensor is called but i'm sure it's it's Wait, sort I of think, a i think the lens is gone no the lens is not gone anywhere think. no i kept it on side so that we don't lose it Second. That means that lens is a zoom in lens because the entire width of an A4 paper or A3 paper, depending on what you put there, is squeezed into just this. Yes, line by line. So, this is scanning one line at a time or maybe two lines at a time. Number of pixels, I don't know how many pixels, but uh, so you know, I don't know. Can you see what's that, in there? The tiny strip is the sensor. Yes, so, so that strip gets all the signals, uh, visual signals, it converts it into digital, digital and sends through this cable onto this. Not on, uh, into. Into yeah. whatever, you know, through this and back to the computer for further processing. And then it does, oh, so that line will be printed this big on this paper. Yes. So then it puts line by line by line by line. But okay, I, so uh, I also would like to tell you what this is. This is basically the power supply unit. Uh, power supply unit for uh, the uh, this the light, as well as it's also supplying power to uh, this scanner or the sensor. I thought you know the power that you mainly. This is the power it. supply unit. 
Does I know how it works? The power supply unit gets the power from the main charger that you insert into it, yeah. and when it gives to its friends or the things that are connected to it. Okay. Hmm. So I think we're done. No. What's left now to do? How is that printed on the paper? It is not printed on the paper. The responsibility of a scanner is to only convert the visuals, the image to digital and through the connected computer it will be transferred to computer. And computer? So there is no printing. The computer will oh. save it into an uh, image file or anything, the software out PDF. there. So, and then that image will be sent to a printer if you want it to. Yes. And you can print it. Yes, that is right. Hmm. But I still want to see what's inside of there. Inside of what? Inside of this. There's nothing left now. Is there? Yeah, there's nothing left. Then why is this box so big? Uh, that is uh, for holding the mirrors, I think. Because mirrors have a crucial role to play. So if you look at it, there are actually four mirrors. We wait, thought wait, there wait. are three mirrors, but there are four mirrors. Look. So there is one, this mirror, in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Then there is one out here, okay. So I think every mirror has its own role. I don't know how the uh, light is. There. Okay. Uh, it's, no, the, all the mirrors have one role. They have to focus light into the lens so it can go to the. Focus. Okay, there's but there's another mirror out here. This is also one mirror. And there's another mirror under here. Oh, is there? Yes. Ah, uh, I, I I'm sorry, I cannot see it. But uh, can you see? No, there's no mirror. So there are one, two, three, and four mirrors. And what's the role of the fourth mirror? Mysterious. <laughs> Reflecting light. Uh, I have no way to uh, test I know, it out. I know, I know, I know. I know. It, the light goes in from here onto this mirror. That reflects it onto this big no, one. No, 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 no. There you are wrong. The light comes from top. Yes. It comes in. So it will go fall on the bottom mirror then it must be reflecting some part through this maybe some part uh, reflecting Wait, I on can tell you where the light will go first okay. it will come like this then it will be reflected like this okay so then it will be reflected here and then it goes straight in doesn't even touch this so let's do one thing Wait, then what's the purpose of do this? you have a uh, some kind of a battery or fine source of light yes I have can you bring it? It's in the closet. Yeah, so please bring it. Or you can... So let's do an experiment, okay? Let's turn off the light and let's see what happens. Can you turn off the other light also, please? Okay. Okay, let's see what happens. So the light falls on this bottom mirror. I don't know, maybe this is the angle which will matter. Uh, I, I think you have to put it in the center, otherwise it can't reflect in the next mirror. Okay. So it's reflected up till there. I can see it goes onto this third mirror, uh, then it's bounced back from this mirror. We actually need a sort of a laser light or something which yeah. can actually show. But from my rough estimate that goes to this mirror which again bounces it to this mirror and it goes straight into the whole distance. So what happens if there's a light directly falling on falling on this? Maybe a little thin light will work, <coughs> a thinner one. So I, th I don't think we have the right setup to test out. Uh, we probably would need a laser or something to low test. Low power laser. Yes, low power laser. We don't want to burn it. Yes. Okay, uh, never mind. I think uh, this has been a very long video, uh, I believe. Uh, uh, yes, it has been quite long. And all I know is that we have turned the scanner into scrap now. <laughs> Not scrap. Maybe we might be able to reassemble it. Okay. I don't think so. I don't so that will be a se separate exercise. Do you think we should record it? Uh, no, it will be like a time lapse. Yeah, we can try to do that. So we'll just record a time lapse video of us assembling it and post it. So bye friends. Hope you like the video and just one thing before we go. Let's count how many times the light bounces according to my idea. So that's one, two, three. No, it's one, two, three, four, five times the light is bounced before it reach, reaches the lens. And then it's magnified onto the... So what did you learn? So let me ask you this quick. 
How what does is this? we learn? Yes. We learn. Your idea was to see what's inside a scanner and how does a scanner work. Yeah. So first of all, I learned that it's very hard to tell how a mirror will focus light without having a laser, especially mm -hmm. if the mirror is very thin. Mm -hmm. The light goes in, mm -hmm. the scanner scans it, mm -hmm. that goes through a lens, mm -hmm. first the lens gets it later, mm -hmm. first it goes through a big maze of mirrors, mm -hmm. mirror maze. Yeah, and then that is turned into digi digital inf information, binary, zeros and ones. Yeah, it goes through some kind of wire, this part, mm -hmm. it goes through it. Comes into this, this takes that info, wires it through this, mm -hmm. and gives uses it as an output and gives it out to your computer and or whatever it's connected to. Bye, friends. Hope you like the video. Bye. Bye.